I think let's start off with some of your key findings over the past two weeks and whether the IMF is feeling confident that Kenya is on the right track. Uh, first of all, thank you very, very much for having me, for having me here, and good morning to you. Uh, yes, we have been here for a couple of weeks, uh, looking at uh, developments uh, and assessing performance uh, in the first quarter of the the program with the with the fund. And the basic message is that Kenya's economic program is off at a good start. Things are going relatively well so far. That's not reason of complacency. Yeah. There are challenges, but there are good news. The main good news is that we have found a very dynamic private sector environment. Investment is surging, driven by local investment in construction, but also by foreign direct investment which is extremely good news because it's mm -hmm. a good prospect for uh, economic growth. It augurs well for the main objective of the program, which is raising the living standards in the country. Mm. This is certainly positive. Of course, there are challenges which needs to be dealt with. Uh, the challenges are in particular on the inflation and the external uh, front, there is a need to make sure that the in recent increase in inflation does not tra translate into uh, persistent uh, pressures toward the higher prices. Yeah. And at the same time, there is a need to ensure that uh, this strong growth in the economy does not weaken the external position of yeah. the country. Uh, well, Mr. Fanny's, I mean, you're talking about some of the challenges there. I mean, the monetary policy and fiscal situation in the country, of course, needs a little bit of work. What is interesting to note is uh, the Reserve Bank of Kenya has, in fact, been stepping up its reserve accumulation. Some say that this is keeping the shilling artificially low. Do you think that this is a positive development, or do you think that uh, the, the central bank needs to relook its strategy going forward to try and, and see a stronger currency and perhaps mitigate some? of the inflation that is imported? Well, uh, the, strat the central bank intervenes in the market just to accumulate reserves as needed, not because as an objective in terms of the exchange rate uh, level. Mm. What you have seen now is that monetary tightening from the central bank, which is welcome, has a direct impact on the exchange rate of the shilling, mm. which is something good also. Mm. So we think that monetary tightening is needed mainly to contain inflationary pressures. This has the impact of strengthening the shilling and also making easier for the central bank to ac accumulate foreign reserves which are needed. Mm. Oh, quite exciting. I mean, when we look at this extended credit facility that has been awarded by the IMF to Kenya, uh, we know that Kenya's debt is nearly 50% of GDP. Does this create a concern for you? And given the fact that you are quite excited about pri private sector growth and particularly coming through in that infrastructure construction space, is there any plan to increase this credit facility even further? Okay, let, uh, let's start. Uh, uh, the first, first qu question on the debt. Yeah. Uh, we are talking, I assume we are talking about global government debt. Uh, well, One of the object yeah. or external debt. Yes. Uh, Kenya's One debt of is nearly 50% of the country's GDP, if I'm not mistaken, sir. Yes, yeah. that's the overall uh, uh, public debt. Yeah. Uh, the objective of the program is actually to reduce this ratio gradually, yeah. thinking of driving it by the end of the period, of the arrangement period, uh, around three year, uh, in a three-year horizon, to around 45%. We believe this has to be grad done gradually to address the important development needs of the countries not only in debt, but also to address the need to finance the cost of the constitutional transition. 
and no, we think there are positive things, yes? mm. and but the objective is that one. So gradual fiscal consolida consolidation. Uh, your second question on uh, the possibility of augmentation, that's a possibility which we'll not discuss now, but possibly in three months from now. From uh, in the next review, we will we'll consider it. Uh, Mr. Faniza, just to end off, I mean, going forward in terms of the prospects going uh, into Kenya at this point, we know that the country is very heavily weighted towards the agricultural sector. Diversification at this point in time is on the cards. What would you say is the biggest challenge facing Kenya right now? Well, the biggest challenge is to ensure that the spur in inflation does not stop the favorable growth performance. So the biggest challenge at the moment is to make sure that the increase in growth, the recent increase in growth, can be sustained and that it translates in better living conditions for the people of Kenya, and in particular in the creation of jobs in the formal sector.